Hey guys, we did Delta Boom 101, and uh, today I um, haven't made a video in a few days, so I decided that I'd just do a, not really an unboxing video because I've already unboxed all the stuff, but uh, just show you some products I've gotten in the past few days. Uh, these literally have came in within the past uh, week or so, and I probably have uh, five or six more things that are coming in. I obviously order a lot of stuff, as you guys can tell in my videos, I spend a lot of money and time on this stuff and on the sport, so anyways, it's uh, the first item is a Falcon. Um, Falcon VTAC tactical vest. Um, normally I would wear pod packs, but uh, this kind of matches the clothing I already have. Um, as most of you know, I've moved away from speedball. I still like the speedball markers and the speedball style of play. I'm just trying to fit in more with my team, who's uh, they're called the Storm Runners, and they're uh, they're more of a woods ball based team. A uh, few of them have some electronic guns, but for the most part, we play woods ball. So I'm um, trying to fit in with the with the way we are kinda so um, anyways got the uh, VTAC vest got it for a lot cheaper since ANS Cure uh, is sponsored and that's one of the items I get on sale so pretty cheap uh, it's good stuff I yeah nothing I can say about that really um, I also got a Ninja 6845 tank uh, this is a Grey Ghost tank um, goes along with the other Grey Ghost tank I have I actually have the exact same one uh, this one came with a tank cover I'll take that off and show you what the tank looks like an important thing to note is uh, if you're Canadian, in order to get an HPA tank filled in Canada, you have to have the DOT and TC label. Um, as you can see, there's DOT and TC. That's what we have to focus on when we're buying tanks from the States. So make sure it has that label, otherwise you'll basically buy a useless tank. Uh, but it's a great looking tank. Uh, never actually been used. You can tell uh, that it looks pretty damn, pretty damn clean. Um, it's been in the cover for a long time too, I assume. And it's got a fresh hydro, 811, uh, so it was made in 2011. And I got that for five more years, it's perfect. Uh, next up, actually, I got this for Christmas. Uh, this is the only paintball related thing I actually really got, other than a shirt. Um, I usually just buy most of my stuff anyway, so uh, I didn't really care. Uh, Die I4s, um, nice mask. It's actually the, my favorite mask I've ever worn uh, and ever, ever owned. My Proto Pro actually were nice, but I've actually sold them finally. And uh, I'm going to be using this for most of the season, uh, or my Empire Terrapat events that you've seen in maybe one of my videos. Um, but this is a great mask, good foam, uh, good visibility, uh, breathing's not half bad. And uh, it's a very sleek looking mask. I'll show you what it looks like on my head, uh, actually, in a, in a sec. I'll show you it after I've showed the other product. Uh, next up is the Stiffy Barrel. Uh, this is a 687 bore. I don't know where it says that, but... Oh yeah, right there. 687 bore size. Uh, great barrel. I've owned the uh, 689 bore size stiffy one time. Ended up selling that, but this is going to kind of suit my needs more. In uh, Canada, paint's a little you know, a little thicker than uh, American paint, which is usually about 682 or something like that. Uh, I guess it all varies, though, what place you're at. But uh, paint around here is usually 687 or so. So, well, maybe a little under, maybe 686. Uh, and sometimes it's actually bigger. Some of the crappy field paint we use is awfully big but uh, anyways this is going to fit perfectly with it it'll give me better efficiency in chrono readings and you saw that actually in my NT video or um, DM12 videos like some of them and last but not least I got another Exalt Reg Grip or Exalt Reg Grip uh, I accidentally got rid of mine when I traded the Vanguard Demon it had the uh, Reg Grip on it and I thought I had taken it off so I basically just gave the guy a free Reg Grip um, so I ended up picking another one up because I liked them a lot and I kind of missed not having it so uh, this won't fit the DM12. Um, with that being said, the DM12 won't be around much longer. Um, you guys know, who, like, know me. I like training around guns, so uh, you know, I'm already done my magic, and I have some new guns coming in. One's very close to being here, and uh, have a few others that I'm looking to get and do some videos on. Uh, a few fresh ones. The one that's coming in is something I've already owned before, but it's still pretty cool, and it's a slightly different version of something that I've owned. Um, so anyways, you'll see that in a few videos, uh, shooting videos obviously, and uh, stuff like that. So that's all my stuff that I've gotten in the past uh, week, and I guess that for Christmas. And I'll show you quickly what this looks like on my face, because the I-4s fit my face pretty much perfectly. So, set it down. And uh, here we go. So as you can tell, uh, my jawline isn't very much exposed, fits very well. So yeah, 
that's the i4s. Uh, I love them. And I uh, look forward to more videos coming out of the new markers, like I said, and some more new products that I've come in. And I might be doing a few reviews on some stuff that I've owned for a little while. Um, look forward to a Z2 Prophecy review, a very big uh, full te teardown of it, and all sorts of stuff like that. So, thanks guys.